before we get into this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification button and please like this video as well. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's video, I will be doing a chatty get ready with me because I am actually leaving the house today which is actually so rare. Like I never really leave the house apart from going to Scott's house and going to college and work obviously. However, I can't do some of the things at the minute because we're in another lockdown, lockdown 2.0. Honestly, this lockdown has been just so boring. It's like we're in the second week and I've just had enough already. I did ask you guys to leave some questions in the YouTube community tab and I did get quite a few questions. I honestly can't wait to answer them because some of them are quite like juicy questions. Like you guys want to find out quite a bit about me, which I'm kind of like a bit scared to answer, but I will be answering all your questions in this video and also I will be putting on some makeup on my face because as you guys can see my face is pretty pale compared to my body because I did actually use a new fake tan last night and it isn't as bright as I thought it was going to be so I was kind of disappointed because all my other fake tans are like really dark and I feel really pale today because it is a really like fake tan but yeah um, I will be putting on some makeup because I really need some on because I will be going out so I'm pretty excited without further ado Let's go on the video. So firstly, I will be starting off with eyebrows. So I will need my eyebrow pomade, which is the Morphe one in Latte. Honestly, Morphe makeup, I have become obsessed with just Morphe in general, like all their makeup, especially their eye makeup. I've never tried any of the face makeup things, but the eyebrow pomades are really good. I will be using my Spectrum eyebrow brush in A24. Spectrum brushes are my face, and I'll need my mirror because I need to see what I'm doing. I do use a darker eyebrow pomade, however, these eyebrows are pretty dark compared to like my hair like lately my hair has been going a lot darker like i used to have blonde hair when i was a kid but it's gone downhill really like i do not have that, that much i don't really have blonde hair anymore which i'm kind of sad about but anyway i will be brushing my eyebrows and i will actually line underneath and then kind of like fill it in um because eyebrow pomades are pretty thick and i've got kind of thick eyebrows i don't want to like overdo them because if you guys have watched back some of my old videos from like a year ago like my eyebrows are terrible Um personally I think eyebrows are like the hardest part of makeup because eyebrows are like uneven anyway so it's quite hard to get it perfect all the time but I'm just going to kind of line underneath like so like that oh pretty perfect to be honest oh I kind of like that you know first go perfectly and then I'll kind of line on top and I'm just hoping this doesn't go to pot really because if it does I'm, I'll be really annoyed <laughs> pretty well wow I kind of like that eyebrow you know he isn't perfect but who is perfect to everything you know what I mean um wow I'm kind of happy with that brow you know uh, oh <laughs> right I'll actually find some questions on my phone the reason why I ask for questions on YouTube is because on Instagram, a lot of people who follow me are like people who like I used to go to school with and they would not interact with my stories. So that's why I kind of like ask people on my community page thing on YouTube because it's just a lot more easier. And plus, like all my subscribers are like always on there. So I'll go to my channel. Oh, I've got the hiccups now, lovely. First question is, where do you see yourself in five years? Honestly, five years, I'll be 24 years old. Oh my God. Well, in five years, I will... Well, in five years, I would hope to have... A better stable job because at the minute I'm working like in a restaurant place and um, so it would be nice if I could get like in a salon or say YouTube was going well for me I would love to like do YouTube full-time Um but first thing I'd love to have a stable job maybe get married if not have a kid I think at 24 personally I would love to have a kid but I do know a lot of people who have said that and don't even have kids yet so we'll see what happens but stable job marriage possibly um kids i would hope to have like a kid by then and i would hopefully like to have a daughter but obviously you can't choose however in my family there are more girls over boys so i'm kind of hoping that i would have a little girl because the thing is i've been brought up with more girls obviously i don't have any brothers you know what i mean but yeah, um, in five years, stable job, marriage, kid, five, in, in the space of five years, that is quite a lot, like it's quite eventful five years that, isn't it? Who else has a bare eyebrow 
and a worse eyebrow because this eyebrow is always like the best eyebrow ever like it's just so easy to handle and this eyebrow is like so dodgy um oh, eyebrows that just stress me out like the worst part about makeup is eyebrows definitely because it just takes forever it's just like the most boring stage of makeup i'm just gonna line underneath right pretty even i mean eyebrows are sisters not twins so you can't expect them to be perfect but pretty good to be honest pretty good attempt now i will be using my revolution concealer in c3 this is actually the conceal and hydrate one i use like all these concealers for like my eye base and i will actually i think i forgot my brush i don't actually know where my brush has gone wait a minute i need to i need to get my brush because i think i forgot it <laughs> so to carve my eyebrows and do my eyebrow base i will be using my peaches and cream brush in pc40 this is like a lovely flat concealer brush Honestly, peaches and cream brushes are like some of my favourites, like they're so good. So I will need my mirror. In case you're wondering, this mirror, where is this mirror from? Is it from, no, I don't actually know where this mirror is from, but it's quite old and like there's maybe a light in it, but it doesn't really work. But it's really good for like looking in the mirror to do your makeup, obviously. But what I do is I put a tiny bit on my lid like that and then i'll spread it around underneath and then it'll be a perfectly pretty good eyebrow this is really hard for me to concentrate sometimes in case you're wondering i do wax my eyebrows myself because i did buy a wax pot from this beauty event like a year ago i think i bought it in manchester fun fact i actually saw money mate in manchester like i think um i think we were waiting for the bus and she was walking past and like all, all the girls who we were with they were like oh my god it's Molly Mae and then it was like yeah so it was quite like fun that um but yeah um so now that my base is done I will now be attempting eyeshadow so usually I use my Violet Voss palette this is the Violet Voss times Nicole Concilio um and I do use orange shade in here plaza because i do have green eyes and orange eyeshadow does make my eyes pop a lot um because you know so i will be using my spectrum a12 brush which is perfect for like packing on eyeshadow and i will find another question what is your biggest fear my biggest fear i don't actually know what my biggest fear is i think my biggest fear will be like losing all of my friends and family and i'll be lonely um because like Imagine how lonely you'd be if you didn't have any friends or family around you. Um, and another fear of mine is spiders. Like, in my room especially, because um, my bedroom, like, has got big windows and it's at the front of the house. Like, I get all sorts of, like, creepy crawlies. Like, yesterday I found a ladybird and it was on my rug and then all of a sudden it ended up on my bed. Like, it's just beside me and it, like, it's, it's, like, flying all over the place. But, yeah, but um, in my room I do get a lot of spiders and some of them are massive like because i do live in an old house you know you, you do get a lot of creepy little insects and stuff and oh my god the amount of spiders in my house like big ones it honestly terrifies me um like it's so bad so spiders i cannot deal with in my house honestly if i see like a massive spider i literally scream the house down and like oh my god it's the end of the world um yeah it's not fun really so now that this is done I will have to move on to the other eyelid. You know what? I have not bought orange eyeshadow in a while, so this is kind of like nice to actually have a bit of orange in my eyes again. Because recently I've kind of gone for like dark kind of eye looks at the minute, like kind of dark browns or like pink or something. It's kind of nice to go for like just a simple orangey colour again, you know? I love it. So that my eyes are now done, I will be using my Maybelline. I showed your Latin drama gel liner because I will be wearing false eyelashes today and I do not like the look of where you can see your like real eyelashes underneath your lashes if you know what I mean so I will be using this gel eyeliner and I will be using a real techniques brush for this honestly I find eyeliner so hard as well like personally I find eye makeup a lot harder than face makeup um because it takes a lot more detail and time but I will be going along my lash line and I'm hoping it doesn't go too thick because every time I do eyeliner because every time I do eyeliner on my lid it always goes so thick and I'm like seriously I'm just gonna kinda go for like an well I'll try to attempt to go for like a simple um 
line on my eye today, but it doesn't always go to plan. Yes, I've been qualified to make up for two years now and I still struggle. Still learning every day. Um, this is the most difficult part though. I find it so stressful because I just don't I don't have the patience really. Okay. Um that's not bad. It could be better, but I mean it's fine. And then I will actually set it with a like a bluey brown like blacky eyeshadow. I will be using the shade, I don't even know what shade that means. Retro grade, it's just like a blacky colour and I'll just be using like a little brush to set it with. I set it so that the eyeliner won't smudge on my eyelid but even though every time I set my like eyeliner on my eye it always smudges up my eye anyway it's a bit annoying. Someone's asked what kind of movies do you like? Oof. I'm not a fan of horror movies because every time I watch a horror movie I get really scared and like I feel as if I need to wee myself. Um, I would say I like musical films like Mamma Mia, Grease, I love those two films like if I could watch one film for the rest of my life I would watch the Mamma Mia film like I don't know if I prefer the original or the second one because they're both really good um, but yeah I'm not keen on horror movies but I do like um, musical films I also like Dirty Dancing as well but if I was to choose an order I, put, I don't know between Grease and Mamma Mia I think I'd probably go Mamma Mia, Grease and Dirty Dancing um, and in case you're wondering about what thing I like to watch on Netflix, it's Gogglebox. I know it may sound like really random and a bit like boring, but oh my god, I absolutely love Gogglebox. Like I literally every time I go on Netflix, that's the only thing I ever watch. Well, the only things I ever, the only things that I really ever watch on Netflix is Mamma Mia and Gogglebox. Cause that's the only things that I like really. Now I'll be moving on to mascara. So the mascara I absolutely love, which I've been using for a good three years now, is Maybelline Lash. Sensational. This mascara makes your lashes go from a zero to a hundred. Like it honestly makes your lashes look like you've got falsies on. It's so good. Um, so I will only be putting like a little layer on, obviously, and then I will do my first makeup. But it makes your lashes go from like just really small to really big. Like look at them already. Wow, we wowzers. Look at this. Look at the size of them. Right. I seem to get my hand sanitizer coming on something in here. It's my big hand sanitizer. Like, look at the size of that. Um, in case you're wondering, it's a Primark one. Primark. I feel like I've not been in Primark in ages. I think it's because, like, it's locked down now, isn't it? Obviously. <laughs> but oh my god, who misses Primark? Because I certainly do. Um, now I will be moving on to what will be me. Oh, it's all up my fingers. I hate it when eyeliner goes everywhere because like it's really hard to get off. Oh, that's lovely. Um, I'll probably be moving on to primer now because I'm doing my first makeup finally the most exciting part um, primer Ooh. oh I've, I've lost my slipper right the primer I will be using is the Too Faced Primer Peachy one. Oh, this smells of peaches it is amazing I don't really need a mirror to put this on with because it's just pretty easy but I, I like to kind of aim it on my t-zone especially because it's a matte primer I want it to kind of keep the oiliness on my face down however lately i have been using my duval spin spin care spin brush skincare spin brush and it has honestly reduced the size of my blackheads it has cleaned my skin up so much like as you guys can see i do not have any foundation on at the minute or like concealer on my face like this is my natural skin like it's been cleaning up my skin so much and it's kind of like um, gave my skin a little bit more of a glow lately, like I'm obsessed with it. it retails for £95, but you can use my code Alice Holmes, all in capitals, to get it for like, I think it's like £28 or even cheaper maybe. But it's so good and it comes with four different heads and it's just so good, like I'm obsessed with it. Right, moving on to foundation. So the foundation I will be using is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation in ivory ivory is my fake tan shade it may sound ridiculous to people like ivory is the shade when you've got fake tan on yes I do have really pale skin blame my dad he's got really pale skin as well um, but like usually I use the shade above this I think which is like I don't even know but this one's really good and this foundation is so good for making your skin look so flawless like it's ridiculous i'm just gonna kind of squirt it on my head like this personally i think that this way is the easiest way to apply foundation because I, like 
the one thing I hate is having foundation like all over your hands. I think I need to get a new foundation, mine. There isn't really much in this. But the coverage of this, you'll be able to see in a minute when I blend it all in. Oh, obsessed with it. It's such a good foundation. It's only like £10 as well. Um, then next I will be using my very broken beaten up beauty blender which I've had to cut in which I've had to cut in half because it's just so broken. Um, I will be using my prime base to wet it because it does have primer in it which will make the foundation stick better. That's why I use it. And then I'll just keep I'll, I'll just like blend it all over my face. I know look at the state of my beauty blender. Um I will have to chuck this out like soon because I actually have stocked up on beauty blenders I just haven't had the chance to really chuck it out even though it takes two seconds to chuck out a beauty blender but do you know what I mean? <laughs> like this one is so bouncy and even if it's got like a lot of foundation in it it still blends so well I'm just gonna blend kind of like in my hairline a little bit because you know, the place where I miss is where my ear is um, but if you need to get it blended everywhere this foundation makes your skin look so flawless like and it's so affordable as well because i've actually tried the kat von d foundation and i found it a little bit too thick like it stinks of pain but the coverage is really good but it's just so thick but this one is like the perfect consistency really this is nearly done oh my oh, oh my god my hair looks ridiculous <laughs> my hair looks so messy i apologize for the state of my hair but this is what happens every time i do Makeup. Also, I cut my hair today. I use the Babyliss hair curlers, the ones that I've had for ages, but they've been really good. Like, honestly, I love curling my hair. I prefer curling it up and straightening it. But I think this foundation pretty much blended. Like, guys, have a look at how flawless my base is. Like, look how, look how flawless it is. I'm obsessed. Like, you could not find a foundation as good as this for ten pounds. Definitely not. Where's my hand sanitizer gone? Honestly. Every time I do, I do makeup, I do have to use a lot of hand sanitizer, hence why my hands are probably so dry. Uh, but the thing is, foundation gets everywhere, like it's disgusting. But as you can see, my base is so flawless at the minute. Um, I feel like my hair is a bit of a mess. Right, I'm going to find some more questions to answer. What car do you drive? So I don't think I've actually mentioned this. I might have done. Um, I think... I might have vlogged actually getting my car but the thing is right so I don't actually own the car that I have so basically when I was learning to drive well I'll actually explain so we used to have two cars like this is probably a good three or four years ago or even longer basically my mum started to like get epilepsy which meant that she wasn't allowed to drive so we had two cars so basically um, we had to sell one of our cars and then I think a few years later we did get a courtesy car for like a year or two years or something like that and then my mum was actually put on some medication and she was allowed to drive again because I think she had not had a fit in like a certain amount of time or something or a few years so basically um, once I turned 17 obviously I wanted to learn to drive. I think my parents were actually looking for a car for me to kind of learn to drive in as well as as well as having it as like a city car for driving around doing the food shopping and stuff. So um, we actually got a car probably, how old am I now? I'm 19. So probably almost two years ago now. I do have a, a little blue Suzuki. I think it's called a, Sol a Solerio, Solerio or something like that. And it's like so cute it's only like a little small car but i love the color of it like it's literally like electric blue like if you google it it's such a lovely color um but yeah um i think i've had that car for like almost two years now such a good first car for someone who is a new or learner driver like i've been driving for, for almost a year and a half i passed in i think i passed in august 2019 2019? I think I passed, yeah, I passed in August 2019, so I have been driving for like a year and a half almost, which is kind of crazy, like what the hell. I'm now using the Revolution powder, and I seem to set my face all over. My base looks so flawless, I'm obsessed. It looks so good. I love it. Now that my face is all set, I will be moving on to bronzer. I honestly overdo it with the bronzer. I will be using the Too Faced one. This is the Natural Lust bronzer. Unfortunately, 
I think they've actually discontinued this because in Liverpool I did go into Debenhams and all these were like on sale like in the clearance bit I'm really sad but it's so beautiful inside look at that bronzer oh, like I think every time I do a makeup tutorial I'm like look how beautiful this bronzer is but honestly it's the most gorgeous bronzer I've ever, I've ever had we'll be using the Spectrum AO5 brush and I will be putting this all over my face I'll go and find another question again because I'm sure you guys wanted me to ask more questions do you and Scott plan to live together Mm. Well, we've only been going out for four months and four months is quite early to move in together. Personally, I think it's quite early to move in with him. But we've actually talked about, like, it might have been moved in together. And I think the perfect time, if I was still with Scott, hopefully I will be. The perfect time would hopefully be in, like, four years, well, four years maybe. I don't know. It all depends, doesn't it? But, um... But house prices are so expensive and I would have to find a good job before I actually moved into a house on my own or with Scott. In the future he really wants to move into a house with me or like a flat or an apartment. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully I will do in the future. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. This bronzer is so good, like it just is so pretty because it does have a highlighter in it as well. So it's just so pretty. And then I will actually like blend it a little bit because I do overdo it on the bronzer like I, I, I literally have a bronzing addiction <laughs> it's just a bit too much sometimes and sometimes I kind of have to tone it down a bit um, but oh it makes you look like you've been on holiday for like a month right so now that I'm kind of like blending I will now be moving on to my nose contour I find nose contour a bit bit difficult sometimes sometimes I do put a bit too much on and then you can tell that I've overly contoured my nose but I will be using the sleek pressed powder and highlighter in one in medium 885 and I will be using my setting brush for this because it's just like a perfect like flat brush to contour so I'm just going to use the brown shade obviously go down at the shape of my nose other side and then I'm just gonna go around the bottom of my nose. I contour my nose because if I didn't, um, my nose would look really pale. I am actually happy with my nose. Like, I like my nose. Um, but the only reason why I contour it is because it'd look really pale if I didn't. But anyway, it'll be using my, I will be using my multitask brush to blend it honestly this brush is just so good for blending stuff in like if you ever need a good blending brush I recommend the Real Techniques one but I'm just gonna like blend it like so until it's all nice and even right that's pretty good going nose contoured then now I will be setting my face with the Candy Cosmetics Pre Glow and as you can tell it's like a line of um highlighter so I'm just going to shake this up, oh my god, look at it. As you can tell, I need to get a new one, I don't have much left, so I will have to put this on my Christmas list. Honestly, I have made, I have almost finished my Christmas shopping already, like, who else has almost finished it? Because I feel as if I've been super organised this year. I don't know if it's because we've gone into another lockdown, I just want to be organised, or I think a lot of people have been starting a lot earlier, because, well, in case we went into another lockdown, which we have, um, but I've... I think I've only got like a few things to get. Um, so I've been pretty organised this year and I have spent a lot of money. I must have spent at least £300 on presents but it's all worth it isn't it? Anyway I will be setting my face with this. This gives your face a lovely glow like ah oh, I love it. And then I will be moving on to highlighter. I will be using like over the here one which is actually hit pan in my shade. As you can tell the middle shade is mine but yeah, I will be using my Peaches and Cream one in PC28. I'll actually get some more questions up. It's, oh my god, it's 11 o'clock already, what the hell? My next question is, if you were to move abroad in the future, which country would it be and why? Ooh, if I... Right. I, I've only been to a few countries. I've been to Spain, Portugal and, and Holland. But if I was to actually move, I would love to visit Greece. Because I've never actually been to Greece, but it looks so nice. Also, look at that highlight. Um, I really want to go to Greece because it looks so nice. And those, like, white houses and, like, the beaches and stuff, like, I'm honestly obsessed. I would happily have my wedding at Greece. I would want to go to Greece before I decided if I want to live there. Um, 
and I really want to go to Italy as well because like obviously Italian food is like amazing like I honestly love pizza and like pasta um but I would love to move to Italy or Greece because those two places are the places where I want to go I've never actually been to either of them they both look like really happy places to live to be honest like honestly I'd love to live there um you know who knows I might move to Greece in the future but oh my god, imagine a wedding in Greece. It's like scorching hot. Everyone's got a lovely tan. Imagine me with blonde hair. If I could have my blonde hair again, I would have to have blonde hair. Like, I've not had blonde hair since I was about, like, eight years old. Fun fact, I've never actually dyed my hair. But if I was to dye my hair, I'd want to go blonde because, obviously, like, my natural hair is blonde. Um, but it's kind of brown now, which I'm kind of sad about. Right, now that my highlight is done, I will be moving on to lashes. I will be using these eyelashes. These ones aren't actually doll lashes. These are just like a random brand which I bought in a beauty event in Manchester. So I don't actually know what they're called. I think they're called like 4D fashion lashes. But I've tried to look for them online and don't actually sell them. So I can't tell you where they're from. But they're really nice lashes. They're really fluffy ones. Just going to put them on my eyes. And I will be using my... My Jewel Lash Glue, this is a quick set one, however, the one thing that I find of this is that at the end of the day, when you take your lashes off, the glue like stays and sticks on your natural lashes and then you try to take it off and it pulls a load of your real eyelashes out, like who else has tried this glue and who else has had the same problem because I'm sure I'm not the only one, but but overall it is a really good um, glue because it does actually keep your lashes on all day, um, which I do like because especially if, if you're out in the wind or something, um, you do not want your lashes flying off. I'm just going to put this all over and wait for like a good 20 seconds or so or even longer maybe because I have put a lot of glue on. But while I'm doing that I'll find some more questions. What is your favourite season? My favourite season will probably have to be autumn. Like autumn winter time because it's like, like it's a time where it's my birthday, Christmas. Like you can just wear jumpers and warm clothes. Like you don't have to shave your legs. That is like my favourite type of like time. Um, and also I love the fashion like the like autumn and winter fashion like woolly jumpers like this jumper is from Miss Guy did in case you're wondering it's like a lovely mustard one I just love wearing jumpers like it's so comfortable hot chocolate oh my god I had a Maltese hot chocolate yesterday with marshmallows in oh it was delicious like I just love autumn so much like I'm just obsessed with autumn god, my face looks so blue from the highlight Right, I think now I'll try, honestly, I do hate applying lashes. I think eye makeup for me is just the most difficult part. But my eyebrows are looking pretty equal, which is, makes a change, to be honest. As you can tell, the glue needs to set a bit more because I've, I've got a massive chunk. I'm going to try and put it on now. Oh, this is the worst bit about makeup. I honestly do not like putting lashes on. I don't think I will ever find a good way to put lashes on. Like, oh. Right, there we go. That's pretty good. That's pretty glued on pretty well. If I do not say so myself. Lashes are definitely on. These lashes are pretty long to be honest. Like these could easily fly off my eyes. But they're on. And I will be now be moving on to my lips. I do have two Morphe products here. I do have a lip liner in Crush. And lip gloss in Trippy. I got this lip liner on the like in the sale for £2. I got this gloss for like £4.13. Something ridiculous like that. Um, so I will be using a lip liner. I can never wear lip glosses or lipsticks without having lip liner on. I feel like lip liner is a great guide for applying lipstick, especially with lipsticks. If I do not have lip liner on, it'll be, literally be like, I look like a clown. It'll be around my lips and everything. But oh my God, I love my orange eyes. Like I love having orange eyes because it's like, it just makes my eyes pop a lot. I do like to kind of overline my lips on the top a little bit because it kind of adds a bit of extra like volume and oomph to my lips like it makes you look a bit like a bit more plump because <laughs> I do not really have plump lips to be honest my sister has got the best lips ever like her lips are so plump like I love hers a lot but I did not inherit the plump lips <laughs> unfortunately but oh well I can use my lip line to fake it it's not the end of the world now that my lips are kind of like lined i will be using my gloss in trippy honestly i i've i have tried like the morphe lipsticks but i've never tried the glosses before until like a week ago and oh my god i can tell you now 
they are incredible like I will, I will not be using Super Glory glosses any longer I love this gl gloss because it's kind of got a purpley like glitter to it it's so pretty this makes your lips look like so gorgeous like look at that how nice does that look da -da, here is my finished makeup look honestly I've gone from like Casper the Ghost to like a woman who's been on holiday for a month honestly I love doing makeup I honestly feel a lot more confident with it and I cannot wait to leave the house looking all glam for my curly hair as well and um, so I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video if you have you know what to do make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below and please subscribe to my channel because it would mean the world it is free to subscribe so why not subscribe because it would honestly make my day so please subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video Bye, everybody!